welcome to Montego Bay's Hip Strip. They've got restaurants, bars, and music all right here on Gloucester Avenue. And since Jamaica is considered the birthplace of reggae, dance hall, and many other types of music, be prepared for great music and, of course, plenty of dancing. What I like about any island destination is being near the water, or if I'm really lucky, being in it. But smart travelers will tell you that Jamaica is much more than surf and sand. It's got history, culture, and architecture. And speaking of culture, if you thought Jamaica was just about reggae and Rastafarians, well, you might want to think again. Jamaica is known for its great houses, or old plantation homes. Many are national historic monuments, and each one tells a story about the island's often dramatic history. Here's one of Jamaica's true gems, a place where the tour buses don't usually stop. It's called Greenwood Guest House, historically the biggest plantation on the island, which at its peak spanned 84,000 acres. The Great House is a window into what life was like for 19th century plantation owners in Jamaica, and it was one of the few houses not destroyed in the slave rebellions of the 1830s. As a result, it has one of the best antique collections in all of the Caribbean. You can find much of the house's original furniture and an impressive collection of old musical instruments. If you're looking for the perfect photo op, then you need to look all the way west to Negril Lighthouse on the westernmost tip of the island. But believe me, this trip is worth it. This place stands 100 feet tall, and the concrete structure dates back to 1894. But here's what I really love about this lighthouse. It's been completely solar powered since 1985. And if you climb all the way up to the top, and you can, you can see some of the most spectacular views around. If you want to get a little history in while you shop, then why not try this off the beaten path place? It's called the Old Fort Craft plus Heritage Park. Not only will you find handmade wood carvings and one-of-a-kind crafts, but you'll also see the remains of Fort Montego, an English fort that dates back to the 1700s. Last, but definitely not least, if you want authentic Jamaican culture and history, you need to check out the Out of Many experience. Out of Many means comes together and reflects the Jamaican motto of Out of Many, One People. When it comes to Jamaica, it's not about the destination. It's all about the experience. There are championship golf courses, zip line adventures, and if you want even more adrenaline, you can go biking or four-wheeling off the beaten path. But on the flip side of that, there's nothing wrong with just spending an afternoon simply on the river. Sometimes that's the best, most memorable experience of all. If you really want to understand Jamaica's roots, you need to do what I'm doing, get out on the water. Don't just look at the sea from the beach, look at the coast from the sea. Jamaica's not just a regular vacation destination, it embraces a unique perspective with rich history and unbelievable cultural experiences you won't find anywhere else. So once you get out here, you don't just boat around the island, you sail forward.